Good morning. Big day yesterday. Six hours, 1800 calories, not a lot of calories. Normally when you finish a big run like that, everybody says, you got to eat a lot of protein right afterwards. You gotta... Heck, I was out of calories. So I just, I did some deep breathing and told my body to chew on chub. And they go, well, you're get, it said it, you're getting kind of sinewy. There's not a lot of chub left. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> anyway, I uh, some interesting things I learned yesterday was those, you know, my, I've been running these Hoka shoes, you know, and they're just, they're light and they're really padded. And when I went back to my Gore-Tex shoes that I've been wearing out at Arrowhead, you know, they're waterproof or pretty close to waterproof. Uh, they're heavy. They're like really heavy and they don't have the spring on the bottom, even though a lot of times you're running in snow, so that shouldn't matter. But sometimes you run on ice really hard. And so um, I'm kind of spoiled. So I was just Googling this morning to see if Hoka has a, uh, if they have a, uh, you know, a waterproof shoe, a Gore-Tex shoe. And they do. So I'm going to be ordering one today to test. Uh, to see if it, you know, how it works. It better be, yeah, I need it to be pretty, pretty watertight or, you know, water resistant so my feet don't get wet out there in the snow any wetter than they have to. Um, the other thing is this morning, so I went to bed hungry. I think I mentioned that last night and I woke up this morning hungry! <laughs> so I've eaten a thousand calories by 8.30 this morning, you know, with shakes, I don't even, I, I don't have, I, I, I ran out of food and I don't, um, and I've been, so, I trained so much, I didn't have time to buy, you know, food, so I got to go shopping today because today's an easy day. I'm just doing one, um, one session of yoga today, although I do, always debate, I wonder if I could do two sessions, but my coach doesn't want me to overdo it, probably even at yoga. She said, she had a rest day. She said, rest day. That means everything you rest except yoga. <laughs> if you want to do yoga, then I'll probably go like, oh yeah, coach had three sessions of yoga. <laughs> I had one coach before because I was doing more than his workouts. He like fired me, man. He says, I don't even want your check. So I'm always kind of paranoid about being fired by my coach. <laughs> he goes, you don't even listen to me. I don't want your check. <laughs> I go, okay. <laughs> so I was fired. <laughs> Anyway, so, um, yeah, I think that that's, uh, so my calories, what I wanted to say was on my, um, so what I'll do the rest of the day, because I am going to hold it at 1,800 calories, is I got to get, a re you know, so protein shakes, big bang for your buck on getting over, for my buck, getting over, you know, getting that full feeling, you know, where you're not hungry, and then, um, and not a lot of calories. Same thing with egg beaters. Egg beaters are great for, you can, you know, load up this big plate of eggs and it's only like 250 calories. And I love that too. And then I do those little smart dogs, those little smart hot dogs. You know, they're 50 a piece, you know, they're tofu dogs, 50 calories a piece. And I start cooking those things up and yeah, I can last the rest of the day on 800 calories just by being smart on that. And whole, and I need to do more salads for sure, more vegetables, which that, that is a weakness of mine. Um, you know, I, do, I didn't grow up eating lots of vegetables and stuff. We did, we did a, so a lot of, we did, we did vegetables like frozen vegetables, frozen peas and stuff. And I like, yeah, I probably could never eat another frozen pea in my life. <laughs> but anyway, I don't have a good vegetable habit, so I try to eat the salads, and I, I got certain ones in certain restaurants that I really like, but if I'm not around those restaurants, then I tend to not eat them, not eat my vegetables like I should. So that's something I need to work on, because that, that really helps me if I can get that big salad in me with, you know, with a lot of protein, uh, chicken in there and it's it's a big energy and, and look at I'm, I'm firing myself up go find yourself a big salad I'm <laughs> firing myself up <laughs> anyway so I'm off I'm gonna go take Furley B for a little walk get the blood flowing you know had my thousand calories hopefully I'm not hopefully I don't go into hunger mode real quick today fun at the park Furley did you have fun at the park did you like the park you like the park you like the park you like the park? Yeah, you like the park. 
All right, heading for yoga. Definitely a little tired today. I'm not going to give into it any more than saying a little tired. I wanted to say running on fumes, but that just sounds really negative to my subconscious mind. So I'm just a little tired. I'm sure I'm going to recover once I get a little movement in me from yoga. <laughs> yoga flame. <laughs> flowing. Got the mind calmer and yoga, slow flow yoga. I go slow flow. That's perfect for me. <laughs> Anyway, one thing we one thing we also work on in yoga sometimes is the uh, the balancing poses. You know, like the tree pose, which you put. I just put my foot on like just above my ankle, and you try and stand up straight. And uh, sometimes I'm like really good at it. Sometimes I'm not. But uh, my friend who's a mountain climber and a rock climber, and he's pretty hardcore rock climber, and he says. He said, that's one of the big benefits you're going to get out of balance for climbing. I mean, out of uh, out of yoga for climbing is balance, Bill. You need you need balance. I go, well, I'm not a rock climber. I'm just a mountain climber, you know. It's more like uh, hiking on steroids <laughs> up steeps. He goes, yeah, but balance is key for that, too. It's key. And I'm like, yeah, I need. <laughs> hey, if I get more balance, maybe I won't feel like I'm going to fall and slide down the whole mountain. <laughs> All right, so today was a definite recovery day. I uh, just did the one yoga class. This was, you know, instructions from my coach. <laughs> I didn't want her to fire me, so of course I did one yoga class. I was even thinking about doing two yoga classes. I thought I might, uh, you know, kind of get that in the gray area. But I said, ah, one yoga class is good. I was pretty tired today after that six-hour workout yesterday. So anyway... Back to the 1,800 calories. Like I, I had shoveled in a thousand by 8:30 at night. A uh, thousand. I'm excuse me. 8:30 in the morning. I had a thousand calories in me because I was so hungry after yesterday's six-hour 1,800 calorie workout. But then I kind of just freaking made you know the last 800 calories work for the rest of the day. See if I if I get that hunger early. If I just get it early, it's not that bad the rest of the day. You just but it's got to be quality stuff, you know. So quality, you know, a lot of, a lot of chicken, oatmeal, usually a lot of egg beaters. But I ran out. I like a lot of eggs, and uh, you know, just a pretty good amount of protein. But and then throwing those shakes in, those protein shakes are failing. You put ice in them, and you can slow the hunger down. Anyway, so ugh, tsunami power. Oh my goodness, look at this pen sucks. You got a backup pen. Sharpie. King size! I should have been using king size the whole time for these X's. I don't even know what I was thinking. There we go. I don't know, this one's kind of hurting too, man. Anyway, you get the idea. X power. Tsunami power. Shh. The wave coming towards Toscobia. So I just talked to my guide up at uh, for Denali. The, the company I've used the last three tries at Denali. I said, he, he, I said, pencil me in for a date. He gave me a tentative date. This is tentative of the 3rd of June. 3rd of June. So that's a 21, 22 day climb, something like that. So you can see the stuff is filling in nicely. And this will give me time to do some, some good training on Shasta right here. So, and this one I didn't make three times. Came off the mountain last time with frostbite. Freaking hurt, you know, for a little bit. But uh, made me tougher, made me smarter. You know, so we'll be, uh, we'll be doing some serious training in here uh, up on Shasta. As soon as I can get on that mountain, I'm gonna be up there probably for weeks training up there uh, because I you know get on the steeper parts for Denali. Look at this, man. I got I got nothing going on in April though. What am I going to do? <laughs> Train. <laughs> Eye of the tiger. All right. Great night, great day, great restful day. Back at it. Back on the three workouts tomorrow. Um, everybody have a great night and I'll be dreaming about Denali, my fourth attempt at Denali. Never quit. 
I told him, I said, I never quit.